All right, what's up, everybody? Okay. I thought... No, I didn't get... I didn't quite get this part done. Oh, well. to be difficult today. All right, what's up, everybody? Oh, wait, I need to... Close this. Close that. Yeah, I did not do a good job trying to do my part thing today. Oh, well. So we've got some stuff to do today. Is that actually let's charge the phone? Is over here, out of the way. All right. Ah, all right, it is getting warm here in Mexico, so that's a thing. But luckily I think we have a storm front coming through. It's very windy, it's starting to get cold again, which is nice. Mm. Let me just make sure, yeah, yep, yep, okay, all right. Right, so we're going to start off with a little bit of Railjack today. I'm thinking like maybe a couple of missions. I'm not going to like go full blown head on in. Because I'm going to be adult. Like, I mean adults. I need to accept that I can't. I'm not going to be able to just get through that real quick. So. Just have to accept defeat on that. Wait, don't I have a Warframe Prime that I can build? I don't think I've actually even done that yet. Wait a second. Wait, did I? Oh, this. I can do this. I can do that, but there was something else. Do I have Baruch Prime? Or am I missing a part of him still? I don't remember. Like, my weeks are starting to blur. I do not have him, so what am I missing? Broken cells. That's what I'm missing. Oh shit! We went to go get some. Hmm. Iced coffee is so good. All right. So yeah, we're about to go get some broken cells. Um. The defense mission over on Saturn. I know drops a decent amount. Which one are you? You're the Argaza. Let's grab the Smita for that. Shade, we'll come back to you. Take this one. I gotta put up some lockers too. Oh. Okay. Alright, so we're going to do real jack, but first we're going to go get some more rook and souls because apparently I need some more rook and souls. Which one is the defense? Is it. It's. Mm.
That's, that's okay. So I have given up on trying to keep some semblance of a sleep schedule. 6 a.m. or 7. I mean, 9 o'clock was this morning when I finally went to bed. I give up. Oops. Just, I can't do it. Open, I'm working. Come on, open it up, open it up, open it up, 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 up. Open, 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 open. Oh, that was. Oh, good. I'm glad you do, because I sure as hell don't. You gonna, like, show up at some point or not, stalker? So. I got these two to open up over here. Oh, that was a dud. It's been a while since I've seen one of those. Come on. Open up, Ben. Oh, it's one of ours. You're the last one? Last one. Last locker. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. We are ignoring everybody else right now. Just open it up. Open it up. Priorities. Do it. Hey, you. Oh, 
yeah, we're doing the stubbas, aren't we? I'm only getting one Arokum, so. Deimos, though. We could always go to Deimos for it. I'm dropping a little bit more than this rate. Not gonna really complain though because I'm getting nano spores, so and plastids. Maybe I'm getting a confused with a different farm. Ah, got another one. Replace that recoil, like <laughs> we. Now we got three. I mean, at this rate, you just kind of aim somewhere, I mean, because trying to focus shoot this thing, like, Jesus. It's like you got the jitters from drinking so much coffee. <laughs> oh my god, how come? So three.
I mean, at least this is relatively in the area. Sounded like me when I was uh, doing my workout earlier. It's number four. So I think that uh, my Smita doesn't have the uh, Lucky Charm on. I see that somebody has said something, but it has not exactly registered what was said. I just see a red line that says new. OBS is being a little slow today, I guess. Ah, it's Nokosa. Hi. What's up? That was a that was a, a locker, not an enemy. How goes? I should probably do this. Ah, yeah. There's, there's an incredible delay right now with my OBS, and I'm not quite sure why. So I apologize. Honestly, there might be an update. I haven't checked for an update in a while. That might be a problem. That's with Fibonacci, right? That's the new stuff, whispers on the walls. Do you want some do you want some company? What is droid cam? Um good question. I will show you in one second. So one of the things I wanted to do this year was I wanted to rebuild my desk. So that we could have like obviously this still here, but I also wanted to have like like a crafting kind of thing, right? I really wanted to get into miniature painting. That sounds really weird, but um, like my husband does model painting. Also, we have three D printers. We have both types, and one of the things that we recently printed these are super cute, and I really wanted to paint them. Get my ass kicked here. Hold on. Are these little, um, like little mech things, right? They sit on top. I actually wanted to paint one of these, but before I do that, he has given me like a, like a thing. Hey. And then this, I'm actually going to do this on stream at some point in time. He was really likes like World War Two stuff, so he's got like a couple of these things. Little this little helicopter. Um, this I have to do this before I go and make the DeLorean, which we bought that a long time ago. I have a DeLorean model that I really wanted to do. Like I've done some things before. Um, I'm not the greatest person at putting models together. I actually didn't really do anything until I met him, and. Where's the middle one? Where's... Where's, where's the Faye? One? Where's Faye in? Oh, it's a disassemble door. Yeah, the two disassemble. Can you go get those? I'm gonna show my, my fuck up in Where the past that I've done. Why I want to get better. They're embarrassing.
I'll show you that and then I'll t show you what the droid cam is. I'm just farming um, Orokin cells and apparently this place doesn't have good Orokin cell drops anymore. So, it's my aging a little bit here. There was a, a video game that I adored growing up, and it's called Virtual On. And I actually found out that they made a model of one of the one of the cyber troopers. That's what it's called, and her name is Fei Yen. And I actually found out that they made models, and I actually bought them. But this is what she looks like, right? Like it's, I really like the game. It's the music was fun. The graphics are definitely dated at this point because this is like in like early two thousands, maybe late nineties. But anyway, so there's this, right? Never did modeling before. I found out that you're supposed to put the decals on stuff before you glue it together. After I did everything. <laughs> That's an embarrassing part. So, hold on. So there's two of them that I have. This is just one of them. And she's in pieces because I did not put them together right. And I feel bad about it. So I wanted to get better at it, but the articulation is amazing. Like, look at this. You can like bend the knees. Okay. Just that one. So I wanted to get better at them and I'm just like, yeah, we can totally do that. <clears throat> so I have to take like better pictures of stuff. You really want to send this box. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, they're all in pieces because I didn't know any better. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just like, oh, this looks like so much fun. Yeah, you can see all of the pieces. <laughs> it's embarrassing. We need to put them back together. Actually, Vic is going to fix my fuck ups because, yeah. Anyway, here's this. So, what I wanted to do. Zip lock that back. Okay. So, what I wanted to do was at some point in time, obviously, this webcam that is right here is mounted on uh it's like, just like a, a desk arm thing little angle brackets it's mounted in the back goes up bends that's like what a microphone stand does right where the fuck are your tanks oh tanks are up there the little ones little chibi ones way up there like way up there oh shit you're gonna reach one Got them down. There's one um, tiger tank, right? Tiger Over two, little tiger one. Look, look how chibi that is. I didn't know you were supposed to put the decals on until I put the <laughs> So here's the Sherman. And then the track is breaking off on the Sherman. But anyway, so I like making things. And this is going to be probably a nasty habit that I get. Right? Aren't they cute? Look how chibi they are. What was it? This is from a video game. No? No. No, that's just a, 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 a chibi version of a tiger one tank. Oh, okay. But they're chibi and they're so cute and they actually move. I don't want to really move it because I had to put the, the thing back in when I cleaned. But yeah. So I didn't know that and I actually want to kind of try to fix my redemption on that. But like they're super cute. Look how cute they are. Look how cute they are. That one is a chibi of this. Anyway, he's going to go get the big one. So what I want to do is I want to have like a top down. So let's, let's move this. I have an arm here. There's a Vic. Hold on. Oh. I have an arm here, right? This is actually for a cell phone. There's Vic. <laughs> right? And I want to have it so that you can aim it down, which we can. Right? <clears throat> here. Where's the no, no, no. Oh. So there is an app. I have an older phone. I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 5. That's like 2014. This phone turns 10 this year. <laughs> so this actually works on it. And what this does is I want to be able to do more of this. Where you have, we have this. <clears throat> oh, wait, wrong one. Hold on. That was on the small little one. There. 
So you can see this, but unfortunately the only thing that kind of bothers me is that you can see that there's like a little thing right here, right? Word, like a little phrase. Also you can do um, like better, there's a, like you can actually get like 4K or something like that. And I'm like, wow, that'd be really cool. But I don't think my phone has that capability, but I want to be able to do it so that you can see here, right? I would love to be able to do that so that you can see what I'm doing. In order to do that, that's that's what the the the, the goal is, which is up here. Oh, he's putting it back. Oh, see, here it is. Little tank. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's ideally what I want to do. And put that back, and then we're going to turn this off. Boop. Get, there we go. So yeah, oh, shit. you're probably like hearing all weird sounds on the microphone because the cable's rubbing against it. But anyway, so that's what I want to do. Um, I also do other crafting things. Um, I make journals. If you've been here a couple times, you might have noticed that I have a Ko-Fi bot that pops up every hour. I actually have a shop where I sell physical items that I've made because Etsy sucks. <laughs> but like I make, I don't think I've got one. Here, do I? It's in the other room, probably. I make, I make journals, like really basic journal. Well, not exactly basic journals for me, but um, they're really pretty. I like to make those. I sell those. Um, I make, I make wands, like wands. I make these. It's, Holy shit! Oh my god, thank you. Oh, that's a new sound. Oh my god, we're gonna have to go get that now. I'll have to get that after stream, because I think I have to go, like, do weird stuff. Do the, the thing. But yeah, oh my god. <gasps> thank you. Oh my god, we can totally do this now. Um... Holy shit! <laughs> I did not expect that. Oh my god, thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. Anyway, so, but yeah, there's that. Um, I do sewing. Um, I don't have my dice bags out here, but, like, I do, like, actual, like, dice bags for, like, D&D &D and stuff. I got little felties that I make. I use up the scrap fabric from those and make hair scrunchies because recycling and not wasting shit and other stuff like I just I make I make things I like doing things with my hands sounds probably weird a little bit but but holy shit wow yeah ah nice thank you but yeah um and there's like there's like a bunch of other stuff that I was like I just I wish I could just show you guys, and that's one of the things was that I found this that runs on my old ass phone, and they still have support for other stuff, like even for the newer stuff like the newer phones, and I'm like wow that's actually really good and it's really good quality and I'm like yeah, <laughs> so yeah oh my god thank you so much. So, but yeah, no, we'll be doing those definitely more often now that I have that. I'll have to go ahead and get that. I have to see exactly how Stream Elements tips and how I get paid from Stream Elements because I don't think I've ever done that before. <laughs> anyway, so let's see here. You're doing Fibonacci standing, right? Did I get enough Orokin cells or do I, am I still missing one? Oh my god, okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to go get my Baruch Prime started because apparently I ran out of Arogan cells. There we go. Like, I remember we got, like, a Baruch Prime part, like, the last part, like, last week. And I'm like, yeah, and then I get it, and then I don't remember building Baruch Prime, and it turns out I just ran out of Arogan cells because reasons 
All right, so let me switch this one back. Wait, do you have Lucky on you or do you not? Because I felt like I was not getting my... Uh... Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> I need to come back to this one. I don't really take this one out. This is this is like Lady Bunny Cat is my main Smita, but this is the one that actually I have a mod or two swapped out so that it opens up lockers as well. Like this is my go-to farming kavats, but apparently I did not have that one done all the way. All right, let's go back and get my Ardaza. I have Sir Chub Cheeks and Sir Cheeky Chubs. Okay. Because I am great with names. This is when I don't remember the name of my Ardaza. Oh shit. Okay. I'm whispering. Why am I whispering? I don't know. That's the that's the vampire cab uh, oh there it is. Like, where the fuck is it? Alright. So we are still working on Paris Prime. And my twin stub is... Wait, 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 wait. I need to take that jitter out of my twin stubbers or else I'm going to give myself a concussion through this game. Ugh. Ah, fuck it. I have to build more of those. Um, where is that recoil? <laughs> I need that. There it is. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, oh, we can do this one. Actually, is there any better recoil? Recoil. Okay. Really, because they all have this mark. Yeah, we'll go. Okay. Alright, so mods, let's up that one. So maybe I can not feel like I am vibrating off of coffee in this game. And we have this. Need to go get more of those from Tension's uh, whatevs. This one, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. I may say, Operator, your chosen warframe suits you. Alright, so let me head over there and then I will meet you there, Deimos. No, 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 no. Fuck, wrong one. I don't want to be in the game yet. I have to. Uh, I mean. <laughs> Really need to stop staying up late at night. Coffee's not doing. I mean, this one's doing great wonders, but I've been remaking my Twitch bot. Boards. Yes. Um, I have been. Learning how to code in Python, which is confusing the shit out of me, because I code in C-sharp. I have very little experience with C++. I have some experience in JavaScript, and I'm very minimal in Java, because I had to have Java for one, one class and one class only, and I hated that class. And I'm learning Python 3, and it has a little bit of everything. And I'm like, this is like what? What is this like? And I'm having to take notes, and I feel like I'm back in university, and I'm actually enjoying it, kind of, to a point. There we go. Ooh. 
Yeah, yeah. I was just like, wait a minute. I don't think I actually... I need to add you as a friend. Let us add each other as friends. We'll do that first. And then I'm going to put the smiley face. Oh. I think it's this one. I'm assuming it's this one. Wait, which one is it? Is it this one? I think it's this one. Yeah, the bottom one. That was a cool thing. Mm, be right back and we'll go get a refill of this and then we'll get started. Iced coffee is delicious. Never mind. He drank the rest. It's impressive froth, by the way. You should have been a barista. You should have been a barista. <laughs> ah, that's delicious. Yeah, I need to get back up to the standing in here. I mean, I got my max out ranking, but that was a grind. Hmm. I should probably do this because that's... I don't remember which melees I need that for. Probably like all of them. When I say all of them, I'm being figurative, not literal. Also, I need to get this. Welcome back. All right. All right, let's go. A big ass bird, by the way, like, Jesus. How come we haven't really seen these creatures anywhere else in the system, by the way? Have you noticed that? Like with Tag for I kind of understand, but bird? I haven't seen any other types of birds. Right? Wait, you have? You've, you've seen other birds like him? Where? Oh, yeah, maybe. He's a big mofo, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, with Tag for, I get it. Like, the story tells you why you don't see more of these guys. But Bird 3 and Fibonacci, I'm going to be honest, I don't really go swimming around that much, so I haven't really noticed. I mean, he could be just like a really special roided out fish. I don't know. Lead the way, Nakosa. I'm 
don't he? What kind of fish would that one be? Like, not Fortuna. Fortuna is all the mechanicals and stuff. I don't think I've actually really seen one of him floating around on Deimos. And then there's like Earth, but I don't. I don't remember seeing them on Earth either, so. Let's see how the recoil is. That's better. At least I'm not like this. <laughs> God, okay. In my self motion sickness, okay. You know, I don't know what I'm, which warfare mission we're doing this weekend. I need to look that one up. buttons. Let's see, what did we do last week? Or last time? It was a railjack mission, I think. Skirmish. I don't remember. I have to look. I still haven't even started the Meet the Warframe series. I honestly still don't know how I'm going to do it. But I mean, I'm at the point where I should just bite the bullet, just try it, see what happens. Give me energy orbs. That's all I'm asking you guys to drop is just some energy orbs, please. I forgot you have to shoot those things. Oh shit. I'm coming, I'm coming. 
Actually, I'll do this. Alright, Varder are done. Pop in a second here. Boop. Oh, oh, that's that's there's 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 nothing done. God damn it. The next one, I'm moving. I think I hear I hear one of those thingies, I think. Um not murmurs. Oh, what the hell are they called? The little doodads. You make a sound. You pick them up. Could just be hearing things too, I don't know. Fragmented tide. It's very handsy.
We should get fast forward through this. It's not too long, then. Clearly my Ardaza needs some work. this way. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nope, never mind, okay. Alright, keep going, keep going. I was thinking, oh look, there might be a book over here, but nah. Into the mouth we go. <laughs> num 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 num. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Oh, that was a moment. I was like, why is my stub is at rank 33? Because it's a lich weapon. Go higher. <laughs> oh my god. That happened, okay. Alright, Paris Prime, are we still... Yeah, we're still going in the... Jesus. That's so much... That is so much forma. Yeah! Scroll must have formed every single slot of this thing. Holy crap. Alright, let's do it again. Let's do it on serration. Jesus. Actually, I'll take this off and put the serration here. Let's go find Hellfire. Let's put basic. I cannot. I got 
All right. Yeah, let's take in some time. This thing is a little. I need to re roll this. I'm afraid to. I don't have the greatest re rolls with those. Anywho, I'm gonna take a quick gander at this and we can go. I might take that one off. So the thing about Kavats, um, well, companions in general, but we're going to use Kavats as an example because we have this right here. This is it applies the same thing to the Smita. With the Smita, you've got the two uh, mods that are in particular to it, right? But in this example, we're going to use Ardaza because that's what we have equipped. So the Ardaza Kava has the Cat's Eye, and we have the Reflect. So if the way that this goes is that when you're building your warframes or weapons or anything, it goes left to right, top to bottom. So it goes this, 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 right? So it goes in order. That's how it goes. So a lot of times, a lot of people, I don't know if this is going to be fixed and whatever they're doing is a rework. I don't think they are because it's just how this is, the game has been built. Um, like Hina. There's a GoFi bot that I was talking about. Um, in this situation, I have the Arda both Ardaza mods. I have Cat's Eye, which is giving it 60% increased critical chance for 10 seconds to allies within 25 meters every 20 seconds. So this is basically fighting for the same time as the Reflect. I don't know if I'm using the words properly here, but just hear me out. So it's either going to be popping this or it's going to be popping this. Um, the reflect is has a 40% chance to reflect damage back to an enemy, amplifying it by 60%. So I don't know if I just want to use Cat's Eye and just go with a crit chance. So guaranteed every 20 seconds I'm going to be getting this. Or if I'm going to be like having, you know, either the, every 20 seconds having that or every whatever having this. I might take the reflect off and stick something else in there. I think that's what I'm going to do, actually. Um, so actions, swap polarity. Yeah, because I'm starting to not, starting to not really feel it. Because the reflect, I don't think I'm really getting anything back from it, honestly. Cat's eye, though, because the reason why I'm using the Ardaza with Korra is for the crit chance. So yeah, I think we'll do that. So that frees up six slots. <sighs> and we can do something else. We have link direction, link vitality. Not sure if I want to do the link or if we're just going to do. Link is something that I feel like you are kind of taking a gamble with because. Yeah. Now the duplex bond, I'm I'm really. <sighs> we might put that on. It doesn't exactly give me enough oomph that I'm hoping for, but. If it's an Ardaza, because the duplex bond, it doesn't actually use any of the abilities, so I won't be getting Cat's Eye, but it's going to be doing the Ardaza, which the Ardaza is an innate ability of doing that, if I remember correctly. I don't know. That's where I'm kind of like, are we doing it this way, or are we doing it that way? Ooh. Okay, wait. Okay. Totally forgot that I actually didn't even know that this mod existed until Squirrel told me. Okay, so we're going to... Okay. Put that on. I want to see if that's any different. And we're going to format this... 
We'll put that here. And I don't know if I have a basic, I think bite, yeah, that's the only one I've got. Okay, so give me a second, give me a second. So let's take and put a normal mole here. Grab bites, stick it here. And then we'll just work on getting mole back into this. Okay, I think that'll be fine. All right, let's go. I'm prepared to watch it go down a lot, so. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like humanoid. I do not like humanoid at all. He's a bitch. I like little little robot Lloyd with Otak. No, you're fine. You're fine. No, I'm just was just checking to see what he had because I didn't remember what he has. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I forgot I had to go there. <laughs> Cracks me up every single time I see a Warframe pop a Grindle. <laughs> You know, I could do alchemy this weekend for the Warframe missions. I really like that game mode. Or I could do this one. Ooh. Should probably do one of the more recent ones. Oh yeah, no, I'm getting oh that might be from the look thing. If I ever see that grimoire, I'm gonna fall. You gotta understand. It's Did you find it? A predator. Oh, it might be right up there on the on the platform. Oh, we totally need to do that. Of course it's gonna go down. It's okay, it's okay. Should get up. Where's the grimoire? Because I heard tag for talk about. Oh, here it is. Let's do it. Let's do it.
Let's get going. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Free arcane, free arcane! Ooh, these stubbers need some work still. Oh. Nice. I'll never forget the first time that we ran across one of those things. When, like, this first came out, a lot of people were just like, what the hell is this? And then, party wipe! And then people would die, and we're like, what the shit? It's a learning process. Alright, I'm gonna shove this in here. And grab this, I'm gonna go shove this into another one. Oh, I fell down. When your floppy ears is going to have some some rough moments at this this round. There it is. Yank this out. Oh, I hear you. Come here. Voca. That's what they're called. That is what they are called.
Ooh, that was a slowdown. Okay, Lady Floppy Ears, we... We're gonna get you fixed up. I'm sorry. Run! Go, 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 go. They're chasing us. <laughs> the beast sleeps here. We kids. Here comes the tide. Let it break itself against you. Say, let it break itself against you? I did not hear that right. What's up, Orion? Let it break itself against you. Like, what? Like, are we the rock and, like, it's like the ocean? The tide? I'm like, gonna be honest, that's not how that works. Oh shit. I got you. I got you. I got you. Shh, shh, shh. Or not. It's trying to be like all sneaky and stuff. Wait, 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 I got, I got something for this, hold on. Wah! I need to level this thing up still. God damn it, Lady Floppy Ears. It's a bit rough, right? It's a bit rough, but uh, we're not failing. <laughs> As it was written, so has it come to pass. The awaited operator has slain the many armed envoy. Vashtag hmm. Mara Nook. I'm just gonna take blame on that one because I am using an underpowered Ardaza first of all, so that thing's going down like <laughs> oh. He was like your face into ground. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, no, my Ardaza's like that when my stub is and my parrot like yeah, everything's kind of underpowered on my end, so <sighs> That was okay. I mean, oh, 
Speaking of cats, I'm going to admit that we watched a movie last night. I highly recommend if you guys are into comedy. Argyle. It's a good movie. I, well, I don't know. I mean, in the end, it's like, it's subjective, but I found it entertaining. It was a popcorn, fun, entertaining flick to watch. So, highly recommend. It was funny. <laughs> There's a lot of twists in that movie, too. Anyway. Why is my cat glowing pink? Why are you glowing pink? Oh, dude, it's it's got a lot of uh, big name actors in it. Entertaining, it was entertaining. But I think it's like an hour and a half, two hours or something. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I was reading Python programming book and taking notes while watching it, so you don't need to have your full attention on it. But yeah, it was, it was fun. It was fun. Also, speaking of, um, I saw the the trailer for Fallout, which is an Amazon Prime thing. Um, I've never completed a Fallout game, but from the the conversations I've seen, apparently there's people who are looking forward to it. So, so that was that was a nice, pleasant surprise. Oh yeah, oh, let's go for it. I mean, when I was farming the standing for this, I did... <coughs> I did all of the high levels until, like, you couldn't really do anymore because you'd be wasting standing, and then I'd just go do, like, wrap it up with a couple of low levels, so... I don't mind. In the end, do we kill things? That's the important question. Do we? Psh, 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 psh. As long as we, psh, 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 we are good. Oh, it's exterminate. Perfect. Oh, I heard it. I heard it. Hold on. Oh, where is it? There it is. Another one. Boop. Let's see if we can find the book as well. Oh. It's funny you say that because for some unknown reason, I seem to have impeccable hearing for certain things in games. Why? I don't know. Um, when I played Apex Legends with, 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 with peeps, I would be able to hear teams way before other people. I don't know what it is. It's, I don't think it's a headset. It's just, I don't know. It's a weird thing.
I mean, it could be the headsets. I don't know. You found the book. Nice. Touch it. Poke it. Poke the book. Free arcane. Oh, I hear another one. It's in this room. How many Boca did was that? That's three. <sighs> oh shit, that thing actually said something. It said explode. Okay, that's cool. Another one. Another one. Well, if you need Vokas, just let me know and <laughs> take me with you. We'll, we'll do Vokas all day. I know that you need a crap ton of them for uh, standing. Maybe not a crap ton, but you need a decent amount. Ah. Just thinking I heard another one, but no. Okay. Sometimes they're kind of hard to see, though, or find. Within that way. I heard one. No, that's an ambient sound, okay. Also, like, I don't know if you know this, but you should always check over here. There's one in there. So, in order to get that one, you need to go here, shoot the grate. And then go up. Like, I'm going to say, like, probably 75% of the time, there's going to be a Voca there. Oh, 
Oh, that's a dead end. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I'll show you next round. Um, always at the end, I have yet to see a map ending tile that does not have access to that. Um, there's like a secret room. I'll, I'll show you next time. <laughs> that like seriously, like 75% of the time there's a Vocum or two, sometimes even three. Yeah, no, it's, it's in that area. <clears throat> Like, you really, you can't go wrong to check it. Damn it, Terry, you're right. All right, hold on. Let me go get something. Also, hey, girl. Be right back. How much do I have to pay you to make an appointment? Pay you to make an appointment, thank you. Mm. Okay. I'm trying to bribe Vic to uh to make another cold coffee because that was really good. Seriously, Vic needs to become a barista in a coffee oh. shop. What do you mean no? Why? Because you would drink all the coffee? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. All right, let's go. <clears throat> oh, no, 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 no. So, okay. True. That's very true. So here's a, here's a fun story. So long, long time ago, when I was working in the USA, um, my, my first career was a veterinary technologist. And that means working with animals, basically it's the nurse equivalent in a vet clinic. And what I did was at some point in time, when I started working emergency jobs, um, that's basically, it's, uh, like, 24 hour, seven days a week clinic and we take emergencies. Last place I worked at was a specialist that also had emergencies. And then like two jobs before that was also emergencies. Either way, when you're working in something like this, you need to have a notebook. Notebook and you write down the patient that you've been assigned, information that you need to know. Oh shit, we're opening that, okay. Etc. 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 So that means that you know what's wrong with the patient, things that you need to know about, signs to you know notify the doctors or something else like emergency stuff, right? I'm not going to go into details about that. So I don't know if you know on how expensive notebooks get after a while, and these aren't something that you want like a big old, you know, like of. Uh, like what you would get for school or something like that, like your, your eight by 11s, like that's too big. No, you need something that either you can stick in a pocket or something that you can put off to the side. That's not going to take up a lot of real estate on the desk. Right. Did you start the mission? Anyway, so what you do. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just making sure. I was like, wait, is he waiting for me? Anyway, so what ended up happening was I actually taught myself how to do book binding. Here, we'll grab one of these things before that sucks. All right, 
So, bookbinding. And the reason why is because you, I'm going to be honest, you can go out and buy a huge ream of 8 and 8 by 11 pieces of paper, fold them in half, do stitching. This is, this is one of the journals that I make, right? And the thing that I liked about it was that, A, it's personalized, it's very pretty, the stitching is a pain in the ass, I take pride in that though. It's small, you can stick it on the table and it doesn't take up a lot of space. And the best part of this was that once you were done with this, you can un unstitch it, basically you can tear out the paper, make more paper, stick it in, you have the same fucking notebook basically, part of the language. but. Also, with this kind of stitching is that it lays flat, so it's it was nice. So I taught myself how to do these, right? Cost. Way cheaper <laughs> than buying notebook after notebook after notebook because in emergency clinics, you build those up or you go through those pretty fast, especially at a high... a high... Uh, I don't want to say a high clientele, but like... When, when you are tied with a specialist or where you're located, you have a higher uh, intake of patients. We'll go with that. So, at some point in time after all of that, um, I was actually getting really into making journals and all of that stuff because it's, it's a fun activity. It's a really fun activity. I take pleasure in making them. And at some point in time, I was like, at the apartment complex I was living at, they would send a lot of um, paper things, like advertising, you know, like activities that they were doing and blah, blah, blah. And it was a lot of paper, a lot of paper waste. And I'm just like, hmm. Found out that you can actually make your own paper by recycling previous paper. And I was like, oh, that sounds like a good idea. So... I was like, how would I do this? And a lot of times people who are making their own things, like making their own paper, they have like a blender of some type. And I was like, well, I'm not going to be using, you know, my own blender that I have because, you know, cleaning is going to be a pain in the ass. So... What I ended up doing was I I found a um, I found a sale at Walmart for a food processor. I think it's a food processor, Ninja brand. It's a little red thing, right? Literally bought it just to make paper. I never used it to make paper. I never got to that level before moving to Mexico. <laughs> And so this whole entire time living here, I have that, and I'm just like, I don't know what to do with this. But I wasn't going to get rid of it because it's a small little unit, right? So I found other uses for it. Um, it mashes up vegetables a little too much to my taste, so we don't use it for that. I'm going to just cut them up nice and, you know, chop them. But anyway... So, in the end, with the heat getting pretty hot here, and, you know, coffee, because coffee, we found out that it is really good at chopping up ice. And you can get a nice, a nice froth. I can't really see that here, hold on. I'll be going to die, but yeah, you can get a nice froth with it. Look at this. Look at that froth. Like, holy shit. I don't really want to turn it, but like, damn, <laughs> you get a nice froth with that thing. I mean, I've used it for some other things, um, since I grew up in the middle of nowhere, 
in Illinois, so, you know, winters were pretty nasty back then. You had to learn how to basically not not waste some things. But most of the foam is gone. Most of the foam is what? Gone. Oh. So what we've ended up doing is whenever we get, um, like, bread... Um, here in Mexico, there's a popular thing. It's called bolillos, which is like, it's like a small little French roll, basically. It's like six inch little roll. Anyway. I hear you. Come here. Where are you? And so sometimes if we don't, you know, get around to using them before they get hard, because that is a thing. Because the bread here is fresh. Um, what we end up doing is I will keep it out so it gets nice and hard, like thoroughly hard. I cut it up into smaller pieces, send it through the processor, and voila, instant breadcrumbs. Which are nice, honestly. Cause it's like a fun, it's not like those big chunky breadcrumbs. Like you can stop before you get to that, to the smaller ones. But I've found that the smaller, the smaller powdery breadcrumbs that you can get for like making breaded steak or breaded chicken breast or something like that. It's pretty good. I have come up with so many different things after living here. Like the latest thing is we had a, we bought a couple of heads of garlic. We haven't gotten around to using them like we should have. So it turns out that we started actually getting some of them moldy. So what I ended up doing was cut out the moldy parts dehydrated the rest, ground it into a nice powder with the Mr. Coffee Coffee Grind. <laughs> now you have, now you got garlic powder. <laughs> I have a dehydrator, um, my mom's dehydrator actually. She wasn't using it anymore and she sent it with me. Um, you ever have like onion scraps? Dehydrate them? Grind them up in a Mr. Coffee coffee grinder. <laughs> you have you have onion powder. All right. So the thing that I was I'm going to show you is over here. Oh oh. There the waypoint is up there. So you shoot it. Oh, uh, this time we don't have one, but it's, they're usually in this room. This is one that you can't access unless you do this from the inside. But yeah, it's always there. It's always a breakable grate. Always... Always accessible. Just, as I said, it's like 75% of the time there's going to be a book there. There is something I want to try, but right now tomatoes are expensive as shit here. I want to make sun dried tomatoes. Did we find the book yet or no? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. We found it earlier. No, we didn't. Shit.
Yeah. Yeah. Um, a thing that happens here every January is supermarkets hike up prices of a lot of produce and stuff. Um, usually we were paying like between 23 and 32 pesos a kilo. When the new year hit, they got up to like 60 plus pesos a kilo and we were like, what the shit? I mean, right now they're slowly coming down in price, but our, our onions are so ridiculous. Our onions are like 200% markup from what they were last year. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Onions are supposed to be like 28 pesos a kilo or, you know, give or take five to 10 pesos. And right now they're on sale. Are their normal regular price apparently is 75 pesos a kilo. You're just like, yeah, no. Three onions for that price? No, thank you. Mm-mm-mm. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous that it's cheaper to buy tomato, uh, what is it? It's not tomato paste. Tomato concentrate? Tomato, tomato in a box versus fresh tomatoes. It's ridiculous. And that thing is probably going to like end up getting sorted out somewhere like mid-year. It's so stupid. Oh, is it? Oh, that sucks. And here's the thing, right? Tomatoes are actually really easy to grow. I would be growing them, but I need to have a place that has full sunlight, which would be the rooftop, and I don't have access to the rooftop. I mean, we have access to the rooftop, but not for, like, going up and down. Like, we don't have a ladder. Like, Vic has to crawl through the window <laughs> to get up to the roof. We have a, a hatch on the patio that's um, bolted down from the outside, so we can't really, yeah. That was a goal that I wanted to do this year, was I wanted to actually have a garden on the rooftop. But if you ever want to grow tomatoes, I'll tell you what you need to do. It's really simple and really easy. Just make sure you have a place that's a sunny place, right? Like that needs a lot of sun. I was actually able to get a decent amount of plants, but since we didn't have a lot of sunlight on the patio, couldn't really do it because it needs a lot of sun. And then when I stuck it out of the front door, I found out that some asshole decided to take a bite out of the little one that I had. The one little one that actually managed to get somewhere. And I was like, well, this is why we can't have nice things. So, in a really well place, you have a pot. It doesn't have to be really big. It can be like something like this, like like a gallon jug of milk, like something like that. You like it doesn't have to have a lot of space at first. Get yourself a tomato. Make a slice, something that's like. Let me take a measure. Like, I wouldn't even make a quarter of an inch. Like you, can, like, you can do a quarter of an inch and it'll be perfectly fine, right? Or if you want to be more technical, like half a centimeter, right? Slice it. It's going to be so fucking easy because this is what I did and it works. <clears throat> Slice it. Stick it on the top of the dirt. Cover it with some dirt. So you don't have to bury it. Just cover it lightly with some dirt. At some point in time... After you water it, make sure it stays watered. You're going to start seeing sprouts coming up. When you start seeing some sprouts come up, you're basically, you're, you're germinating the tomato slice, right? At some point in time, the, the stronger ones are going to succeed. And then when they get about, about this tall, you're going to start weeding them out separately and then potting them separately. <clears throat> that was the easiest way that I did it. I had like five different plants because I couldn't put any more anywhere else. And since tomatoes are something that, um, it's like a, a vertical thing. <laughs> um, just make sure that you have something that it can crawl on 
like a trellis. Get a broomstick. Yeah, potatoes are also really easy. I'll tell you about that too. Get a broomstick. You can just wrap the thing around it, but you have to make sure that you have something that's going to be holding the tomatoes because the weight of those things is going to drag the, the vine down. But seriously, just water it. Make sure it's got direct sun and you'll have tomatoes. Those things actually produce a crap ton of tomatoes. Like, it's really simple. I wish this, I wish I had access to the roof, but I don't know. Potatoes. When, like, two apartments before I moved to Mexico, um, I actually grew potatoes. Successfully. Get yourself a small trash bin, right? I'm going to put about that much dirt in the bottom. Get yourself a potato or whatever type of potato you want. Get Idaho, little white, waxy little things, rusted, out of whatever potato, red potatoes, whatever kind of potato you want. You're going to wait until it starts to sprout eyes. Cut it up so there's at least one eye per chunk. Like, honestly, just cut it up into like fourths or eighths. You'll be fine. Stick them in the dirt. Well, not stick, stick them on top of the dirt. Cover them. <clears throat> and then, <laughs> yeah, they'd be watching. And then once it starts to, once the, uh, once it starts to sprout upwards, yet again, when it gets to be about like an inch and a half, two inches of, of growth, cover them again with dirt. What you're doing with that is that every single time that you get like this much of, um, <laughs> I'll have them in, in a minute, Terry. Every single time that you get like some growth and then you cover it up with dirt, you're basically creating a root or some type of thing that you can actually get a node for a potato to grow on. At some point in time when I finished it, I must have had about that much dirt with potatoes in it. Right? It Actually, you get a decent amount of potatoes from something like that. The only problem with that is is it can get out of hand really fast if you do not keep attention on it because those things grow like weeds. And then the other thing that you need to do is to make sure that if you're going to put it on something, make sure it's going to be able to sustain the weight because it's a lot of weight in one concentrated area. So don't go putting it on something that might collapse from like 80 pounds of dirt plus more. Mm -hmm. they do the thing that I never understood and I can actually uh, agree with this on my end because I tried is it's incredibly easy to grow some vegetables in an apartment the only problem that you're going to have is location sun and policies of the apartment complex if you're if you have your own house you, you, you've got your own, you know, you can do whatever the hell you want, <clears throat> but yeah, I think that was my only issue is that every single time that I would live somewhere that either they were just like, oh my God, you can't do this. You can't have stuff outside or it was a shady ass place. You really don't have any option to grow anything really good, like a tomato or, I mean, potatoes don't really need a lot of light. You can do, you can do partial sun with potatoes, honestly. do some more like currently where we are I have a fig tree I got a cutting from a fig tree that um, they were constantly cutting down so I got a little bit of a, a thing from that things about this tall no figs from it but from what I have seen you can treat it like a bonsai you can keep it small and it'll eventually produce fruit I now have three avocado trees different varieties I have a um, a mantequilla that's what the lady said I have a mantequilla which is like a buttery thin skin um, one that I think is I think it's a fuerte and then the last one that took a while to get it to work was a Haas Now, I understand that you may or may not get fruits from those things, 
Honestly, I don't care. Avocado trees are pretty. I like the leaves. Got rosemary outside. We got some basil. We got two basils, actually. Um... Lavender and mint. Wow, I cannot shoot this thing. There we go. I hear one. There it is. I hear another one. Shoot off the arms. There you go. I'm listening for Boca. Found another. Found another. I'm halfway through the still those are I mean the vocals are already okay. Haven't found the book yet. Is that one back there? No. Surprised that we haven't found the book yet. It's usually tag for says it whenever you're close proximity.
Get up, floppy ears. There's a lot of enemies in this one area. <laughs> Let's try to go through a wall. Sometimes in this room, it doesn't always make a sound, but sometimes there's a uh, Volca's up top. Sometimes you don't always hear them. Oh shit. Ah shit. What's this one? Oh, that's a computer. heard anymore. Oh, that's weird. We're missing like four. Oh, yeah, I hear more in there. Maybe that's where the rest of them are. Also, no book. There it is. Found the book. That book. Look at it. Did it want to spin or split? That thing's wrong. Capital W wrong. Listen, it's not you. It's wearing your skin, but it's not you. Kill it. It's still hunting. Find the burrow with winters in. Kill that. That's gonna be a long ass run. That thing might respawn before we get there. I see it, I see it. That's up there. It 
Nice. That was a jaunt. Jeez. Let's go get the rest of the uh, vocas and extracts. Just happy we found the book. Oh, there was two? Nice. It's three. Holy shit. Okay. So it was just the one that was elusive. Ooh. And a thingy. Nice. Got almost all eight of them. I mean, at some point in time, I think you can actually purchase it from Bird. Oh, oh, I love this bit. Yeah, for 20,000 standing. I mean, it's going to take some time, but yeah. Okay, this cream, this foam needs to like mix. All right. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Just don't slosh at it. Yeah, it'd be perfectly fine. I think I need like what it's 50 20 20 20 so that's 246 plus 5 1 110 holy crap that is a lot well for one set of Corvex since I subsume one of them I need it's a lot of standing mm. Lloyd. Backroom boys have been beating it to do what you do with oh, sure. sanity tank. Let's do twenty five. That's a lot.
This ought to keep the group cohesive for a little longer. I'm quite content down here, I assure you. A chap has to have his space. I don't know where you get Bosphor from. I know it's in here, but... Hmm. Oh, it's from Arcanes. Duh. Make your selection, and the Bosphor shall flow. I don't think I have any extras yet. Actually, no. No, I think I've already dissolved one or two or five. These are fun. If you ever get one of these, the theorems. Welcome back. These are if you ever get the theorems, they're fun to slap on a kick gun. Um Yeah. <laughs> they're fun. They're fun to play with. <clears throat> Yeah, I think I've already done. Ooh. So, I don't remember which kit gun it is. Here, one second. Hold on. What am I doing? Equipment, arsenal, here we go. <clears throat> Okay, so if you actually really want to get into kit guns, I actually made a guide of how I go about making kit guns. That sounds, that sounds like a lot. It's it's not a lot. It's you can, you can get a lot of slap out of them, right? <clears throat> um, I think it's my curse sploosh. Hold on. It's not this one. Oh, okay, yeah. There's this one. Um, so there's a residual uh, Varima, right? So there's stuff like this. That one's fun. You stick on here. But that's not the one I'm thinking of. I don't think it's this one. Mm -mm. I don't remember. I'm going to have to go looking, but... um. The theorem things are really fun to stick on. I think it's, I think you can stick them on the kit gun. I, unless it's on the Warframe. No, I guess it's the Warframe. I don't remember. I've, I've played the theorems. Maybe it's on the Warframe. But they're actually a really fun thing to just get a little bit of like an, yeah, <laughs> screw you kind of thing. Um, <laughs> but yeah. If you, yeah. But if you ever want to, like, see how I go about making my kit guns, I actually have a guide for that. That sounds saying It sounds weird saying it, but I do. I don't think I actually connected that. My bots aren't working. <laughs> This is my little stream pie that I run on the little raspberry pie. Oh, um, got a sticky note off of the board over here. 
Um, the two that I am working on currently is Eternal Onslaughts, which is from Caballero uh, over on the Zeriman, and Little Duck with Magus Melt. And those are to work on revamping slash updating my amp guide. See if I actually have this linked in here. Yeah, there we go. That's the kit guns. <clears throat> I actually found out the way that I am approaching of rebuilding my um, Twitch bots with Python is actually, I think I can grab an image and associate it with a call button that if I do that and it'll show the image of the guide, which is, I'm hoping I can do it right. I think I'm going to do it right. I don't know. Maybe. So yeah, there's that one, but. <clears throat> Um, and I actually made the, the kit gun guide because no name who he, he comes in once in a blue moon on a leap year into the channel. He's, he's asked me how I made mine. So my, uh, patch moon is nasty. It's been formatted six times, but that thing is nasty. I think that thing before I discovered the dual toxicist on how ridiculous the OP that thing can be, um, that was my main go-to kit gun secondary for years. Was my catch run. That thing was just it was critting so hard. Oh, wait. Um, this is... Wait, what gun is this? This is... Oh, this is the Paris. Okay. Let me stick on the Paris. Um, I don't remember what... No, not no name. Squirrel, I don't know what he was doing on his. I don't remember. Since this is the build that he was using, and the numbers are pretty nice. Good morning, I saw. Maybe it's Prime Diversalis. Alright, that's just, that's nasty, prim, primary blight. I'm gonna stick this on. Hmm. I am doing pretty good. I am crunching on ice with some nice cold coffee. Delicious. I feel like I can get more out of this. I mean, we're still okay. Still not exactly happy with this gun. Oh, that's what the voice is. A STFU. Don't know why we're doing gas with this. Okay, let's rethink things. Um, well, don't shut the fuck up. Could do corrosive. Corrosive is a bit better than gas. <sighs> <clears throat> But we're so I was thinking, yeah, like doing like a maybe a corrosive or a radiation or something. But then we're gonna be running into the the ribbon issue, which is it's got heat. Hmm. 
I mean, I could say, I mean, I don't exactly need that. <clears throat> there is that radiation mod. Oh, but it, this is, this is a, <clears throat> is it, for, oh no, is this an accelerated isotope? Yeah, it's a pistol. There is one. There is one. Yeah, but yeah, it's different names. Um, what is fulmination, by the way? Oh, blast. Okay. What was that? What is that? Yeah, heat, radiation, and corrosive. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Because with secondary encumber, you have a chance to trigger a second random status effect. So this is going to be like nasty, nasty things. Alright, so accelerated isotope. Let's max this out, see what we get. Also, this isn't even maxed out yet. It's only at 36 and, and needs to be 40. <laughs> Not really happy with these numbers. I mean, we could roll this. I have a lot of Kuva that I'm not doing anything with. So we could re-roll it. See what we get. Play with the gamble. If I could get something that does like a crit chance in here, I could take this off. Or with the crit damage, you could take it off. Yeah, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Let's see if RNG Jesus loves me today. Holy shit! <laughs> RNG Jesus ain't. That is a mutual feeling at times. Oh my god. I like this. Yes. Right. So, yeah. I can actually get rid of one of the mods. The... Oh, but it's not. Okay. Yeah, big status and multi. And weapon recoil. Mm. Yeah, let's max this out. Wait, mods. Ryan, Jesus loves me today. <laughs> I, that's going to happen. I'm never going to see anything good ever come anywhere again for like three months. That's how this game rolls. Alright, so this is maxed out. I have a 92.4% status chance. I could take... Oh, wait, that's a status chance. That's not... Mm. Could take this off. Yeah? Alright, let's do it. Ouch. A status duration is nice, but nope. <clears throat> oh, okay. <laughs> That's a nope. I actually don't like it when it gets like, if I'm one of these people that I don't really min max that shit. I'm not going to remember if I'm doing Corpus, Grenier, Infested, I don't think. I'll stick with this one. Alright, last one, last one, last one, last one. Last one. Ready? Ready? <clears throat> yeah, not on the ribbon.
Okay, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. That last one I don't give a shit about the damage to the infested. Oh, man. It is. Shit. Okay, so, okay. It could, yeah, I could definitely make radiation a lot easier. Okay, so. If I kept this one, right? I could technically take off one of the mods that does like the top i think i have the pestilence or something on there the one that gives me the toxin because it's like it's a plus 60 percent i mean plus 60 percent plus this that's great but that damage is nice though i do lose the 60 percent status chance Cover I <laughs> mm. So, all right. So, okay. Let's let's think about this logically. So, the the one that's here, the status chance multi shot weapon recoil. I currently do not have a mod that does a status chance on this build. I do, however, have a mod that deals with multi shot. So, but that mod that deals with the multi shot is crit crit chance. Crit something is not a status. It's not it's not the same thing as a status chance here. But this one also gives me a plus 35% weapon recoil. So I'm gonna be back to vibrating like I've had too much caffeine and not being able to shoot anything for the love of God, even with the mod that I have on there. I think I'm going to go with this one. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go with this one because in the end it's going to be just inflicting a crap ton of different status things. Because that weapon recoiled, that one, that one's going to, mm. all right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's have some regrets later. Yeah. I can't, I, I, I'm not doing that again. I'm not doing that again. That one was hard. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Oh my God. Yeah, lethal torrent. <sighs> okay, so. Heat, radiation, and corrosive. Jesus, that one was hard. The froth is keeping it from coming out. Give me a second. Can you hear that? <gasps> yeah, that multi shot did take a hit. But Lethal Torrent is still there. I have a straw, hold on. Be right back, be right back. Mm -hmm.
I could do the, yeah. Do the galvanized infusion. We could take the lethal torrent out. Because <clears throat> that's going to give me a shit ton more multi shots. This one's just fire rate, honestly. I'm not going to worry about the fire rate with the, the stubbas. So let's switch these. <sighs> Makes me a little bit happy. Yeah. I mean, I'm not really going to miss the fire rate. I mean, I might, but twin step is already go crazy. So um, what else could we do? I mean, we also have the fire rate over here. So I mean, these numbers are definitely better. I think at this point, I just need to go take this out, see how I feel about it. And then go from there. Yeah, we're gonna... Yeah. Yeah. It does take so much, and I ran out of endo a while ago. I've been trying my best to get more endo, but Jesus. So this is where my credits are going. <laughs> oh, that's also a thing. Okay. What about one? Ouch. Yeah, if I do that, it's okay. Cancel. Yeah, no, let's take it out. See how see how it feels. Let's, you know, take it for a spin. <coughs> Big pointy stick, how are you doing? You doing good? You're doing good. Ooh, 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 ooh. And this is why you find the books, because you get these things. Fortification. Apparently I'm still missing these two. I don't know where you get these. actually not bad. I think I was doing this one because of uh, Big Pointy Stick has... It's not corrosive. What does Big Pointy Stick have? Viral. <clears throat> anyway. And then there's Exodia Force. Um... Yeah. These are fun. I need to go find some of these other ones. Anyway, let's go. Let's go take it for a spin.
Holy shit. Yeah, no, that's ridiculous. <laughs> All of the status. Holy crap. All right, I'm going to look for some Volkas. And the book. Oh, that was that was a good trade off. Alright, so it's just like Guild Wars 2. You want to see a lot of numbers. Makes you makes you feel good. Makes your brain go fuzzy, like mm. Damn, bro. <laughs> you want to become one with the numbers, okay? That thing just ate through that like nobody's business. Holy crap, okay. Wow, no Vokas thus far. Alright, oh, reloading. Still no Voka. Or a book, by the way. Oh, here's one. back there. Boop. No book here. Sometimes it's there. Long tile set, maybe.
Oh, I hear one, I hear one, I hear one. There you are. I hear one. Where it is? I don't know. May not be a real one though, I don't know. seen it but we got this thing I guess there isn't one there it sounded like one touch the hand I can't touch the hand. Damn it. Do we have like all six Boca at the freaking end? Yeah, I was gonna say I heard, yeah, okay. Nice. Go clears yourselves. Yeah, I hear him in there. Found the book? Oh, let's see how this goes. Let's see if it melts through it. Not really. Why does it have an Atlas ability? What the fuck? Is it not done? Oh, it's not done. Let's get that thing out of the room. There it goes.
Come get your arcane. I told you not to mess with it. I'm glad you're okay. Oh, I got Albrecht's notes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh man. Why are the books showing up at the end? It's kind of weird. Okay, I know they're all in that little corridor. And um, we're gonna check the other door. It's like the running gag at this point where you just don't get all of them. Alright, time to go. Hands are coming out of the floor. Job well Wait a minute. Who has the matter eye? Shouldn't be gaining standing with matter eye. <laughs> I'm gaining matter eye somewhere. What about your numbers? <laughs> Overall, I think I think this this is better than what I had. I think it could still get more, but I'm pretty happy with it so far. Pretty sure if I can just like max these out, would be fine. But <clears throat> also, it's only at level thirty six. Also, if I actually get more twin stubbas and I've put them together to get that sixty percent. Even more OP. Numbers come out of the floor? I mean, I mean, not numbers, the hands out of the floor, yeah. Anyway, I think I want to go and do like a real jack mission or two because yes, I'm going to do those for a little bit. I think I need to get into the habit of just doing a couple of real jack missions so I can get those intrinsic so I can write that off as being done. So, but yeah. I shall leave you to doing your stuff, Nokosa. That was fun. That was fun. Also, Voka hunting. Ah, yes. So, I didn't get the chance to tune in for the um the Tenno Warframe stream thing today because I was a bad person I got up super late and I just kind of like put it on so I get like the the drops and then I walked away we still don't know exactly when Dante Unbound is being released just sometime this month right <laughs> also they were supposed to be doing alerts um coming up 
I think that was like maybe the alerts are like after Dante comes out or I don't think it was like or like mm, I don't remember I remember hearing that at some point so maybe it was the thing that was on Monday the 15 minutes that Reb does with Steve Anyway, uh, let's go do some real check because let's go die. This is gonna be rough. I want to get better um, roommates. Gunner. Gunner. Oh, no, wait, you're supposed to be the engineer, yeah. Messy, okay. Enemy fighters are falling back. Good work. All right, so we got that done. I mean, they're still gonna be here, but until we clear them out. Still, blow you up. Hold still, hold still, hold still. the engines. Oh, 
I'm gonna be honest, this part takes a long time to do when you're by yourself. But that's okay, because I'm gonna be honest, you don't know exactly how good your real jack is until you take it out by yourself. That sounds really weird, probably, but... Like, integrity, and making sure that you have good uh, crewmates, like your NPCs that you pick out and everything else. Is it rough as hell to do? Yeah. I'm not saying it's easy. I kind of wish they would give a little bit, like, come up with something else that deals with the real jacks so people get back into this. It's, to me, I it's a fun game mode. Gets boring real fast, though. Make sure at least two of them were recently shot. What? Why didn't it blow up? Wait a minute. Wait a goddamn minute. Ah, I'm out. And it's flying away. Get back here. So Domchar should have destroyed this thing. And I don't see a shield around it, like those yellow shields that you see that prevent you from doing that. What the shit? Okay. Just destroy you from the inside out. Maybe waste dome charges on you. Assholes. Let's see you stand that. Oh man, that sucks. But at least you're gaining standing with them, so... Yeah, we're just gonna board this one too and save the dome charge because apparently dome 
whatever the fuck doesn't want to work anymore, so I'll just go blow you from the inside out. Come here. Alright, you can take this too and take that. Do this. And then <laughs> That's okay. Out of context is fun at times. Alright. Ooh, and there's an anomaly. Nice. Come on. Rainier, dry dock. They are working on something. I want to know what. Infiltrate. Ooh, 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 wait, 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 mod. Purple mod. Ooh, I missed that one a long time ago. Okay. Let's try this again. Deal with those guys ahead of time. I thought this is real. Alright, here we go again. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna do it again. Because they didn't learn enough last time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, 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 wrong one. 
Oh, am I out of those? <gasps> yeah. Oh no. Oops. Wait, wait. Is there any energy over here or no? Not really. Okay. Oh, I worked on some of them at least. I almost died. Good job, Lady Floppy Ears. And the other one. Renari. All right, so we got that one done. And we're gonna go investigate the anomaly. Oh my god, they're on my ship. I wanna die. Reloading. Assholes decided to invite themselves on my goddamn ship. What? Jerks. Oh my god. Rude. Get the big gun out. Suck it up. Suck it up. You guys found something? No. Oh yeah, 
you did. Ooh. Oh, Jesus, nothing kind of hurts. Do you get caught? You do get caught. Oh, get fucked, buddy. How about this one? No, but we can just bleh. Oh, this is big guys. Now those big guys hurt. Somewhere over there. <laughs> Only at fifteen. Shoot a mother down! Shoot a mother down! Well, that's a weird thing. They get like pinned down to the ground. That's kind of weird. I was like, it's not finishing because you have to, yeah. Go back to the girl, Jack. There we go. Oh, it was relatively painless. I'm still missing a ship. The one that begins with an X. I think I just need to straight up purchase that one. I haven't even looked for the parts. I don't even think I have anything. It's like with the Xyphos or something like that. Oh, this is the... Okay.
don't think I've ever seen anybody use those before. That's a new experience. These are the rocket launcher things? Something like that? My energy is gone. Why is my energy gone? Yeah, I know that was weird. I haven't been anywhere to drain my energy from. No, that was weird. That should be number five. Yeah, they got it. Yeah, okay. We have one less crew ship to be concerned with. Direct attention. Weird as shit. I'm still don't know where my energy went. <laughs> Where's this guy going? That was weird. That was weird. Yeah, let's go to the dry dock. Alright, so I did my real jack. Um, what was... Deviri Paradox, Relic Cracking. Those are the two things I need to do still.
might do one solid run through Duveri. Um, hit up Cooler Bow and or Arc Arbor. Intrinsics. Ugh. Intrinsics is so hard to get these. Anyway. So let us put this to your friends only because I only do this stuff like that. And we are going to do the degree experience. Oh. I still need some resources, stuff that's in the cave. You know what? Let's take Miso. Take Prisma Lens. Um, do a Toxicist. Oh yeah, now we're gonna do we're gonna do well. I don't think I've had this one, but you know what? We'll just we'll just go with it. Mathilla wanted to see nothing but happiness wherever she went. It soon caused problems. There's no excuse for negativity in this wonderful kingdom. I think someone like you ought to be part of the solution. I'm happy to say I can help. Your pain does make you special, you know. Oh, what you need is a little exercise. Take that case of yours for a run. Those weird ways of saying to get your ass moving, but okay. Size for this one. See what we have. We have Arc Arbor. We do not have Cooler Bow, but we do have Arc Arbor. So from the truth, nothing but joy mattered. The Undercroft is a messy, chaotic place, and you will need to work so hard to keep it together in there. Not that I believe in you. Oh crap! What do I have? I change her abilities. Did I change her abilities? Oh, I did not. Wrong void angels to besiege the undercroft. Undo what their claws have done. Or do Viri may fall to something worse even than Thrax. Globes of ambient void energy hover around you. Collect them to seal the breaches.
I talk. As you would staunch the wounds of a comrade. The void angels are unrelenting. Are they? Ah, shit. I want to get you. Ugh. Okay. Foster. You're a fucking thing to my imagination, so I mean. We got that one done. Ba -ba. Simply be as happy as Mathena was. Why did they have to be so difficult? God, why can't you just be happy? That's what Mathilda is saying, sorry. I really like this pole arm. It's really good. Let's go continue doing these. Assemble the shrine. That shrine's broken. The easy thing to do would be to let someone else fix it. But that wouldn't make you happy. That sounded like a forced saying there, Mathilla. Ooh, 
I am... I can't... There we go. Okay, that was weird. I couldn't melee and I couldn't reload. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Two more? There we go. Do the close contagion. Set one. I don't get away. Okay, I'll come to you. Don't threaten me, it's a good time, buddy. Should have been number four. Yep. Uh, let's see this one. If she ducked it, she hid it. Her failures nearly made her more determined to succeed. Almost done. Godly long arms. First time I saw Ballas, I was like, what the fuck? Is this another one, real quick? Fuck it, let's do it then. Um, ba -ba -bum.
Oh, this one came right next to me. Okay. They like never do that one. Okay. Let's go to the Undercroft. I still need to find like a couple of caves. Sucks that we don't have Cooler Bros. Hold on here. But that one's got a lot of cave work in it. Like all in one area. I feel like I'm forced to be reckoned with right now. Yeah! Might be the coffee talking, I'm not quite sure. Is it cave here? No. This is a cave though. Fast with the case. Unless I do that. Yeah, these things. The Tasomi? Tasoma. I need those things. I guess that was it. Hmm. Let's do this one real quick. I think I know what this is, yeah. This little shits are coming like. <sighs> Where's that one pointing to? Oh. I heard a thing over there. Is it though? Okay, hold on, hold on. Shh. Mm -mm. Is it up there?
I heard a, um... So those things that, like, have, like, a, a tune to them. They look like a little disc? I swear to God, I hear one in there, but I don't know where it is. Time for those guys. I can really hear it until I get rid of them because the music is going to overpower them. You know what? Just gather around. Gather around. Come on. I, I'm, I'm infectious. Come on. Is it? Is it underneath? Oh my god, it was underneath. Jesus. I think I'm going nuts or something. I'm like, where is that hum coming from? Ah, oh. welcome back. How's it going? This thing. I always forget that there's like possible underground parts in here. I haven't even finished this. Oh, wow, there's three left. Holy crap. Um... Oh, that's where we're all. Good morning. I want to say is oh, I don't even know what. Is it, is it be, let's not, let's not do Spanish on this. Bien, bien, le salut. Or is it salut? Salut, salut. Do you, do you pronounce the T on that? Or is it, is it salud? Like a soft T. I picked the wrong one. I wanted to go to the left. All right, let's go eat. Because here in Mexico, we just say buenos dias. Please be exterminate, please be exterminate. Yeah! Violence. Burn it out with force. Destroy every enemy you find. <laughs> Buenos dias, yeah. <laughs>
That was fast. Muy rápido. Mathilla understood that one sometimes has to be cruel to be kind. If happiness required force, so be it. This one's easy. Until you can't find the last one. Being shot at. These things are always angry. Mathilla left from one into the embrace of the other. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. Looking for Tasomas. I still do not know to this day the point of this. I do them, but I don't know.
and I know they were not there when the Duveri Paradox originally dropped. That was something they added later. So... Okay, so after we do this, before we do the worm, we need to do Arc Arbor. Something about knowing. Hold on. Let's do this. Oh, this is Warframe. <laughs> um, it's a free to play game. Entertaining. Um, a bit. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Warframe. Um, let me sh show you. Let me finish this part. Um, so Warframe is a free-to-play game. Um, you can start playing anytime you can do, yeah, it's a fantasy game. Um, uh, 
it's it can be complicated but it can also be pretty fun um this is from 2013 2014 when it started so it's about the same age as arma 3 Um, every, I want to say every three to four months, I think it's more like four months, they have new content. Hold on. <laughs> Something about understanding. Oh. <laughs> um. Hold on. Here, we'll do this. Oh. Um, wait, 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 wait. I'll just do Google Translate. Let's see if this works. Ah, some faces tell a story. Yours, more of an epic tragedy. Tickled your curiosity, Okay. <laughs> oh, also.
Google Translate. Ah. Oh. So that's number one. This one... Is that a bad guy over there? No. <laughs> no. Um... This particular game mode is happiness or felicidad feliz feliz it's a uh, it's a particular game mode um It's complicated. Uh. Although, I never thought about Zelda until you mentioned that, and I can see it. Sony? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's complicated. <laughs> um All right, there's different there's different themes. Has happiness, 
sadness, anger. Something else. Happy, sad, anger. Is it jealousy? <laughs> Let's see here. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> um, let's do this. Okay. But yeah, this this mode has I think it's those. Happiness, sadness, anger, and jealousy. Anger's red, happiness, purple, sadness, blue, jealousy green. Come on! Tasomi or Tasoma. I don't remember this part. Give me a second. Have a picture that helps with this. All right, we'll see you later. All right. I have I have a picture that I made up for this. Ooh, what is this? Oh, have fun. Yes, cool. <laughs> University. Yeah. 7 a.m. Oh, shit. The time. Okay, hold on. Let's go. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Okay.
push. I can't get this one down. There we go. And it's not that one. It's that one. Okay. <laughs> So which ones are which? Let's bring this up. So one is this one back here. So let's, okay, we can't do that one yet. So let's do one, two, two, one, do two. Two is a U. <laughs> All right, two is done. Three is the C magnet thingy. That one. And then number eight we know is an M, which is over here. Perfect. Okay, so we have those. Number one we'll come back to. All right. Number four is this one. Oh shit, 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 Four may not work. <laughs> Number five is this one. Number five is the weird looking, uh, is it that one? Yeah, it is that one. Okay. I think it's the other one. Okay. Number five. Number six. Number six is this one. Oh. Could be that one. We'll go with that one. Number seven is this one. Might be that one. Alright, so the one that we need to do is number one, which looks like that weird thing. So let's pop this out. There. I was right. Yeah. All right, so let's go finish this because I did not know that we were getting to be that point in time.
mutual friend waits with my Orvius. And then is this. If you desire to subdue this oral worm. Actually, is that pinned in Discord? Where I pinned that in Discord, hold on. Oh, it is pinned in Discord. Okay. I actually have that in Discord, I also have it in the guide, but how to do the Arc Arbor puzzle. This one, uh, do this one. Happiness becomes a dragon when you allow it to master you. The indulgent, the cowardly, the indolent. To whose skirts do they cling? Mathilda's oral worm seeks to inflict her idea of happiness. On all of the theory. Oh, no, you don't. You've mounted the beast, but are you in control? Why am I being dis what the hell? I seriously lose track of time in this game mode. I really do. Quickly, take the beast through the portal. My duo toxicist, just one shot with this. This is normal mode, but I feel like it's cheating when you use Mesa for this. Bravely done. For this one night at least, Duviri is calm. Oh well. My head. Why can't I remember? and pathos claims. Hmm. Alright boys and girls and everything that's in between. That is it for me this evening. 
we did a lot today. I'm actually pretty happy. Apparently my Prisma lens was ranked 19, which they, that's still not right. But anyway, um, yeah, a lot happened today. I'm actually excited about the droid cam thing. We're going to have that one online. I have to figure out how to get that from stream elements and then get that unlocked. And then we can start doing other stuff. Oh my God. That's exciting. I actually never thought that was going to happen. <laughs> I want to be honest. At the rate that I get things completed on this stream, like goal wise, yeah, it's not the greatest uh, success rate, but that's okay. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Um, thank you again for that though. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Um, so yeah, so I got that done. Well, we got that done, I should say. Um, tomorrow is Guild Wars 2. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do. Might do World vs. World because apparently I need to get back into uh, calling things out effectively. And the only way that I know how to do that is do commanding. But I don't know if I'm up for that. So, but yeah. Um, also, we got other stuff worked on. I actually had a lot of fun doing the Whispers in the Wall stuff. I really like that game mode. It's nice. It's fun. It's pretty. <laughs> so, but yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, until then, take care, stay safe. Bye bye. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs>